today's video, we are learning how to create our own custom resource pack. As you can see here, I've created my own resource pack with random images, blocks, and whatnot. If you guys are brand new, this is Yomaxter23. I usually do building tutorials and whatnot, but someone asked me to show them how to do a resource pack and how to create your own textures and your own images and blocks and whatnot. So that's what we did. That's what we did in today's video. If you guys do like this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to help me out. It really does help me out. And it always makes me smile when I see that we got a new subscriber in our community. But with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and just jump right into the video, teach you the basics. And there's another video too. I'm gonna put the link down in the description but if this video doesn't help you out there is another video where this uh other youtuber fellow minecraft youtuber posts a lot more detail with that said though let's go ahead jump straight into the video and on how to make your own resource pack so first things first we're going to go down in this bottom windows bar right here and we're going to type percent app data percent and that's a p p d a t a we're going to open up this folder and we're going to go right here you can you should see dot minecraft when you actually pull this up we'll go ahead and click into that and once we double click into that, we'll scroll down and eventually you'll see versions right here, right there. There we go. We'll double click into versions and then you should see a bunch of versions of Minecraft versions that you've played in uh, right here. Only shows I've played in three and that's because recently my Minecraft crashed and I had to reinstall a bunch of stuff. It took me about eight hours. It was absolutely awful. Anyways, what we'll do is we will go into 1.16.14 and you'll be able to see that there's a jar file right here, 1.16.far.jar. If you don't see that uh, .jar on your own computer, that means if you go into the view right here on the file explorer, if you go into the view, there's a place where there's a check mark that says file name extension. So um, if, 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 if it's not checked, it might appear like this, 1.16.4. Go ahead and enable that. Just press that so that we can see the .jar file. But basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy that. So we're gonna right click this file. We're gonna copy it. And then I'm gonna exit out of this and I'm gonna paste onto my desktop. So I'm gonna just right click onto my desktop and press paste so that we get this 1.16.4.jar file onto our computer. Now that we have that, we're gonna go ahead and right click this again. Then we're gonna rename it. And we're not gonna rename the 1.16.4 part, but we're gonna rename the JAR. So we're gonna backspace these three letters and instead we're gonna make it a zip file. So we're gonna go ZIP, just like that. We'll press enter. And then it will say, if you change a file name extension, the file might become un uh, unusable. Are you sure you want to change it? We'll press yes, okay? And then now it should become a 1.16.4 zip file like so. We'll go ahead and click into that. And you should see that a bunch of stuff should pop up. All this stuff right here, which is perfect. That's exactly what we want. Okay, so what we're gonna do instead though, is we're gonna right click this file and then we're gonna go down to, uh, where is it? Extract all, so it's the top option. We're gonna press extract all and make sure that it says select a destination folder and extract files. Along Just on the longest lines, we'll just press extract. And now it's gonna take a few minutes, but you can see there's a 1.16.4 file right here, another folder. And it's gonna go ahead and extract all these items which might take a few minutes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump cut so that we are having this file fully, fully exported. With that completed and done, you can see it gave us a 1.16.4 file. The only difference between this one and this one is this one does not have like a little zipper going down in it, a little zipper icon. So what we can do is we'll just go ahead and we will delete this. We will press delete right there, should send it to the recycling bin. And now if we open up this folder, there should be a ridiculous amount of random stuff that I do not understand. Most people do not understand except a lot of coders and we're not. And out of all these items, all this mumbo jumbo, we just want three items. So right here, you can see that there are little boxes by each file when I scroll by them. On the assets box, we're actually gonna place, press inside the box and it will give us a check mark right there. That means we've selected the file and that's good. We do wanna do that. Then we'll scroll down all the way and it should be organized alphabetically depending on your computer. I believe everyone should be usually organized alphabetically. And we'll go in the P's and we'll see that we got this pack.mc meta right here and then pack.png. So we're also gonna select these two and have these check marks. So check mark these two and then the one at the very top, assets. Once we've got that done, we'll go up and if you are in the home tab of your file explorer, you'll see this uh, selection that says invert selection. We'll press that and it's gonna select everything else except assets and the MC, uh, the, the two files we just selected, and then we'll just press delete. So I don't know how long this, I, this this shouldn't take too, too very long, putting all these items in the recycling bin, let's see. Yeah, that goes, it goes a little bit quicker deleting all the files than it does transferring them. So let's go ahead and just uh, continue, can continue to talk while, while it moves it to the recycling bin. How's your guys' day going? <laughs> we could just, yeah, how is it going? Comment down below how your guys' day is going. I'm, I'm curious. You know what, why not? <laughs> okay, once that is done recycling, there we go. There should be a left, these three files. So assets, pack.mcmeta, and then pack.png. And basically what these two things do 
is the pack.mc meta. If we click into it, you'll see that right here is a description. And this is actually the description of your Minecraft resource pack that you're creating, the custom resource pack. So I'm just gonna change mine real quick. And I might as well call it resource uh, resource pack tuto uh, miscellaneous tutorial, something like that. I don't know, just something kind of random. I will go ahead and press file and save, and then we exit out of that. That's just what you want the description of your resource pack to be. Right here, if we press on pack.png, you'll see it brings up this image of a half grass block. And that is the image of our resource pack that we're gonna wanna go ahead and have. So what I'm gonna do for that, because I wanna change my PNG to a picture of my face, is right here, I have randomly this games folder where I went ahead and I stuck uh, my me photo. And yes, that is Roblox Studio. I had someone comment about this. I, I play Roblox occasionally, okay? I'm, I'm a little bit of a big nerd, but that's all right, whatever. Anyways, now that we got this me picture right here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy it and paste it and I'm gonna put it in there, okay? And what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna rename this. So whatever you want the picture of your resource pack to be, so I want this to be of my old skin right here, the, the gosh dang, I haven't worn that skin in a long time. What we're gonna do is we're gonna rename this to pack.png. So we'll delete the original pack.png and I'll rename this to pack.png. When working with the resource packs, you usually wanna have the images as PNG images because that will help a lot when, um, just, just when you're when, when you're doing your resource pack. So now that we got the pack.bng out and we've got the description of the resource pack done as well, we can go ahead and move on to actually texturing the blocks and the items and mobs and whatnot, which is in this assets folder. And now we already move on to the part you guys have all been waiting for. Let's click into the assets folder. So we'll double click in here. Then we'll double click into Minecraft. Then we'll double click into textures right here. And then this is where we'll actually keep all the images for our blocks, our mobs, our entities, all that fun stuff is in here, the stuff that you get to redesign. So for example, if we press in block, you'll see there's an acacia door. If we scroll down a little bit, there's beet roots or there's beehive side, bee nest top. These are all the block textures right here. Going down an effect, this is, actually I don't know what effect is. Let's go down to entity instead. So in entity, there are some boats that you can design. You can design the boat textures or you can go down here into chest and design the te uh, chest textures as well. Or if we go into environment, for an example, here's the end sky or rain, how rain looks in Minecraft. You can go crazy with this. Here's the items, all the items in the menu, beetroot seeds, beetroot soup, all that fun stuff. You can redesign. And the way we redesign it is, is very simple. This is just creating a resource pack. So just putting it on different skins or different textures onto different items. But the way we do that is we wanna get an item. And what I'm gonna use, I usually use this app over here called Krita, which is kind of like a free Photoshop. That's that's what I usually use for a lot of my art stuff or Photoshopping, and just, just that sort of stuff in general. But we can do this actually with MS Paint, which every computer typically should have right here, just paint right there. So we'll go ahead and open this all the way up, which is kind of silly that we're using this. And you can see it's so small over here because we're actually gonna be working with the pixel sizes. I'm gonna go ahead real quick and just zoom in on this block over here. And we will go ahead and say we want to edit, since I've already edited the grass block, I'm gonna go ahead and search for the grass top. Let's go ahead and go over here to grass, where is it? Uh, I'm actually not seeing it right now. That's the grass top right there. Oh, there we go, Br grass block top. So this is the image we want. If we were to click on it, you could see it is very, very, very small and that is purposeful. The reason it's so small is because it's by the pixel. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna wanna do the grass block top image. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let me just drag this out real quick. Uh, what, what am I gonna do? Yeah, let's just drag this out onto the computer. So grass block top. And now that we got that, we can go into our MS Paint and we can press file open. And we're gonna open that image that we have. So on our desktop, it is right here, grass block top. And we'll press don't save because we don't care about that one. Let me go ahead zoom in on it and as you can see this is a grass block top though I'm, I'm not sure why it's all gray and white I, that's kind of weird uh if you if you want to edit other files too you can always just press open and then you want to find where your let's see it would be under desktop you want to find where your resource pack is and then you can go under assets minecraft uh textures and then you can go from under any of these um or, you know like map right here you can go on map and edit how the map looks so you can always do this and then then you can edit on this screen and basically what i'm going to do for this is I'm actually just gonna go ahead and color the whole thing black, uh, paint it all, paint it black by, as Rolling Stones would say. And the reason I'm doing this is just because I kind of, I don't wanna have to actually texture the whole thing up. I just wanna show you guys how this all works. So we're gonna have a grass block top just like that. When we're done with it, we can press save as, and then I'll save it as the grass block top because that's what it is. So I'll go ahead and replace that right there. We'll press okay. 
And if we go back onto my computer right here, you can see this says grass block top and it's just a black dot because we just made it all black, which is perfect, that's good. So now I'll show you the next thing. This is how you actually go ahead and make these textures your own texture. So you might, ha you might have to do a little bit of uh, renaming and whatnot, but I'll show you how to do that right now. So over here, there's one texture that I did on my own. It is called Red Rain. If we zoom in right here, you can see it's literally just rain and it's just red. So I'm gonna go ahead, find my resource pack. I'm gonna go under assets, then Minecraft. Then I'm gonna go under texture. And then the rain is under environment. Right here you can see it is called rain. But right here you can see my file is called red rain. So I'm actually gonna rename this so that it is only called rain. You want it to be the exact same files, all right? Then you'll delete the original file. So I'll delete this rain right here. And I will put my own red rain in. And now this resource pack will use this image instead of the original image like it would have originally. We can do the same thing with blocks as well. If we go here, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try to find my dirt block. So there is dirt. Let me find it actually on the image here. There we go. So we got dirt right there. I want to replace it with my weird negative dirt. This is dirt is um, it's basically just got a filter that makes it the negative colors of what we already have. So I'm going to delete the original dirt right there. Uh, ooh, it's not working right now. There we go. So the dirt I deleted and then I'm going to rename this image to dirt.png because that's the exact same way it was titled. And then I'll just drag this into the folder. Let me go ahead and we'll go into assets, Minecraft, textures, and then the blocks, because that's where the blocks was. Usually I find it easier if you just scroll down. It takes a little bit more time, but if you just scroll down and try to try and uh, search it, it's a little bit easier to find what you're looking for. If we go down here, that is dispenser, DI. You just gotta find find the word. Oh, I cannot find it right now, huh? Okay, so basically I'm just gonna place my own dirt image in here though, and there we go. So now that we got that, we'll go ahead, we'll go out, and as you can see, I have another block over here actually. We might as well do this. It's called grass block side. So if we scroll down to the G's, the letter G's, this, this is where it gets a little tedious, but it still works, it still works pretty fine. So let's scroll down to grass block side right there. And right here, I have the exact same uh, image name, so I'm just gonna delete this grass block side, and then I'll replace it with my own. And this, you pretty much do the same thing just over and over and over again. The last one I have is actually a painting, a custom painting, and I have the exact same dimensions for the pig scene right here. You guys might recognize this painting from Minecraft. It's a pretty popular one. It's one of the biggest paintings you can get, I think. And I'm actually going to replace it with my own painting. This is actually a, it's a really weird pixelated uh, art of Pizza Boss 43, my little brother. So... I'm actually gonna go ahead and rename this. Instead of having it renamed art, I'm gonna rename it pig scene, because that is the block or the item we're trying to replace. I'll delete this pig scene right here and then just put him inside so that we can actually put him into Minecraft, which is just so weird. With all that said and done, we have replaced a few textures in our 1.16.4 texture pack. And now that we've got that, what we're gonna do is when we have all the images replaced that we wanna replace, we're gonna go ahead and select all three. So one, two, three, check mark them. We're gonna right click and we're gonna press send to compressed zipped folder. We'll do that and it will ask us, or it won't ask us to do anything. It will just go ahead and immediately start doing it. And there you go. We get this pack right here, which for this, I'm gonna rename the actual resource pack tutorial pack. So there we go. Now that we got this tutorial pack, this is the resource pack completed. Each time you do change an asset or a texture, you will have to rezip it and re put it in this folder right here. And for those of you confused too, by the way, if, if there's like, I'm, I'm doing my best trying to explain this, but I this is also kind of out of my comfort zone. You can probably tell because I sound just uncomfortable while doing this video. So I'm also gonna put a link to another video if you guys need some questions. And if that video doesn't answer your questions, comment down below and I'd be happy to try and help. Okay, with that all said and done now, we'll go ahead and, oh, I just realized there was one more block. Okay, here, here's what you would do. I'm gonna delete this because I forgot to put one block in. This was grass block top. So I'll go back to assets, Minecraft, textures, block, and then we'll find the grass top. I should have done this just a second ago, but I didn't see that because it was a black dot, the, the one that we literally just actually created. So let's go down to, should be around here somewhere, D, F, and then G, grass block top. Where is it? That's grass block side, that's grass block side, grass block side, there is grass path top. Oh, we must have deleted it. Okay, we'll just go ahead and insert this grass block top right in there. There we go. And then every time, again, you do this, you'll have to 
go back into this folder, select these three items, press send to, compress zip folder, and then we'll get our resource pack. And then I'll show you guys where to put the resource pack in order for it to actually work. So again, I'll call this tutorial resource pack, which I might misspell things, that's all right. Uh, actually for your OCD, for those of you with OCD, there you go. So now that we got this resource pack, it is finished. It's with our own custom resources in it. We're gonna go ahead back down to the Windows bar and we're gonna type the thing we did before. Percent app data percent. We're gonna open up this folder by pressing enter and then we'll go into Minecraft and Minecraft should have its already built in resource packs right here. So we'll click into the resource packs folder after going to the dot Minecraft resource packs and then we'll literally just drag this tutorial resource pack or whatever your custom resource pack is named and we'll drop it in that bin. Now let's go ahead and go into Minecraft and make sure everything worked. Okay, and now we are back in just in Minecraft world. This is where I do all my build tutorials and whatnot. So now what we're gonna do is now that we're in here, we're gonna go ahead and enable our resource pack. The way we do that is we'll press escape. We'll go down to options. Then there should be this option right here that says resource pack. If we open this up, you should see your own very own resource pack right here. As you can see, I do have the image of me, like I said earlier, with my skin, and the description is right here. So it says resource pack miscellaneous tutorial. So the description and the thumbnail worked. What we're gonna do to enable it is we literally just click on this arrow right here, and then we'll press done. And what this should do is this should only change the textures that we use. So if we go here, immediately you can see, yeah, there's a big difference because the grass is black. So this did work, and that's honestly kind of trippy to look at. I, I do not like looking at that grass. If we go ahead and actually pick up this grass block, you can see if we place it down, ooh, something went wrong. Every once in a while you might have to fiddle with it, but apparently the grass side didn't actually export correctly. That's all right, that's all right though. What we're gonna do is we can also get our dirt because we did export this. This is a different block now. This looks really strange. You can see it's so much fun because you mess with your own resource packs and you can add all these weird filters to your blocks and stuff. It's just one of the coolest things. Another thing that we edited was actually the rain. So let me just go ahead and set the weather to raining. And now you can see it is raining red blood. <laughs> it is so weird having all these weird blocks that we designed this resource pack and the rain is rain raining red. Let's go ahead and clear that because my frame rates are starting to go crazy. So now that we got that, we might as well also try out the painting we made of Pizza Boss 43. So I'm gonna go over to painting right here. And one of these paintings should be Pizza Boss 43. Let's see. There we go, and we got Pizza Boss 43 actually in Minecraft. For those of you who don't know, that's what he does look like. Uh, it's kind of pixelated, so it doesn't look exactly like him. He looks better, better looking than that. that. That's a compliment to you, Pizza Boss 43 too. You look better than that in real life, you really do. Especially with that weird mustache and rose in your mouth that I photoshopped a long time ago. But as you can see, it did work successfully. We got all these blocks in here, which is perfect. This is exactly what we wanted. And you can do this for mobs, entities, you can do this for whatever, changing the resource pack, as long as you follow these steps and watch this tutorial every time you need to, to know what, to, what you're trying to do. But with that said, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you're still confused, and you want me to help you guys out, I probably won't be posting another video, but I do know another fellow YouTuber who posted the video on the same thing, and he explains it a little bit more in depth. Um, I just wanted to get this basic, basic general knowledge out there for you guys. I, I'm sorry if I went a little quick too. I've, like I said earlier in the video, I think I said this, I've had been, been having a lot of computer troubles and for at one point, my computer was literally completely crashing and I had to restart Minecraft, delete Minecraft, I lost a lot of files and stuff and, it's been a heck of a day, and I just wanted to get this video out there for you guys. <laughs> but we're there, we're there, we've done it. We've finished the video, the resource pack is success, Pizza Boss is in Minecraft, so I'd say that's a, that's a big win right there, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, especially when I go through the trouble of, of spending eight hours trying to fix my Minecraft game. <laughs> that, was, that was not fun, I'm not gonna lie. But if you guys need any more help, check out this other video first. And if that doesn't help you out, comment down below and I will try my best to help you guys out in due time. I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoyed and uh, yeah, ciao.